Insert data and click do it now. You can see the name and description in the Amazon server. Hello, this is Roy. Today, I will look at using Amazon Employee to transfer data to the Amazon server. Here is Movie Index. Download something for AWS and setting and then add code. The last one is using code I made. Let's start now. First of all, you will need an AWS ID. If you do not have an AWS ID, please click Create an AWS Account button. Then, install Node and NPM. If you press NPM button, you will get both. If you have an older, old, older version, download it again and update to the new version. Then install AWS Amplify. Open the terminal and copy and paste the text and press enter. If you get the permission error, push the in front of it and enter the command again. Ignore the warning that some warning appear and move on to the next step. When you are finished with the installation, type amplify configure. When you enter the command, AWS screen will appear and you will be logged in beforehand. Please refer to the video on the right for setting method. The preparatory steps are now over. Now click the Get Started button on the iOS. This site is the role that AWS adds to Xcode. Then first create the project. I created it under the name AWS Start. You must first install the POD. If Cocoa POD is not installed on your Mac, it will be installed. Open the terminal and enter the command. After creating the project, assign the project location to the terminal and then POD in it. Then add the following to your POD file. And install it. The next time you run the project, you need to run it only with Workplace. Amplify in it also does. The name is AWS Start. The environment name is Environ VIM. The building app is iOS. And the AWS profile creation is ES. Then select the 
profile ID you create when you first figure the Amplify. This will create the AWS configuration JSON file. Once the Amplify has been configured, add the API to Amplify. The following settings are made. Select the GraphQL, just enter. And select the API key. And press enter. Default value is set. If you want to change the schema value, you can change it. But this time for the first time. I will not change it. Finally, the Amplify push will send the newly created API content to the Amazon server. Press Enter to continue setting the default value. Change the POD file and install it. You are now ready to start the project. When you run the project, you must run it as a file ending with the workplace extension. Then add the API Swift and AWS configuration.js files. The JS file should be unchecked. Then copy and paste the code on the site. First, we add it to the app delegate. and also to the view controller. Once you edit all of the code,
broni. Let's see where the data is stored in AWS. Click on Service and press AWS App Sync on the mobile part. Then you will see the name you set up first and click it. Then click Data Source and click Resource. You can see the saved data by clicking the item. Press API.swift to see not only the insert but also the delete and update code. I also created the UI to create the SQL command select insert delete and update. This code can be downloaded from the link. Click on the button you want to comment. Enter the data and click do it now. After entering the data, you can confirm to the server. You can insert, delete, and update. Thank you for watching this movie and see you later. Bye bye. If you have any question, please leave a comment. I would appreciate your subscription. Next, let's learn how to sign up with AWS.